All right, so this is Unit 4, Form of 1, Video 4, Graphing Functions. Okay, so today we're going to graph equations, okay? So the first thing you need to do is we're going to graph what's called in slope-intercept form, okay? In slope-intercept form, okay, gives us two things. It gives us the slope, which is our M. We've already found that. And it gives us our intercept, and specifically it gives us B, which is our Y-intercept, okay? So whenever you're given these two things, that's what you're going to find. So it looks like this is the form. So y equals mx plus b, where again, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay, And if you go back and look at here, okay, look at our line, you can see y equals and then mx plus b. Okay? So m being the slope, you can see we rose 2, ran 1. And then 3 being the y-intercept, here's my y-axis, my y-intercept is at 3. Alright, so this is what we're going to graph today. Okay, so we're going to graph. So y equals negative 2x plus 3. Remember our form is slope-intercept form, so it is y equals mx plus b. So if you put it below it, So in order to graph, we need to get the information out. So remember, slope is rise over run, so it's always in a fraction. So this is my slope here, negative 2. Okay, the x stays. So, But I know it's rise over run, so I want to make sure I put it in a fraction. So negative 2 over 1. And then my y-intercept is my b. It's, it's what's not attached to the x. So my y-intercept is 3. Now I want to graph. So again, this is my y-axis, this is my x-axis. So in order to do anything, you have to graph your slope-intercept first. Remember, slope is an action, okay? So it's not a location, it's an action. So in order to do something, we have to always start with B. And if you ever forget, think alphabet. You have to plot the B before you can do the M. Okay, so my y-intercept is 3, so I'm going to go up and put a dot at 3. And my slope, remember, is rise over run. Okay, so from that slope intercept form, I'm going to do a rise of negative 2. So a rise of negative 2 is actually down 2. Okay, so 1, 2. And then I'm right there. And then a run of 1. Okay, so down 2, run 1. Okay, in order to get a good line, we're going to do that again. So we're going to go down 2, run one down two run one okay a couple things about slope you can switch where the negative is okay so now if i want to do this okay i'm back here at my y-intercept now it's a rise of a positive two which puts you there and a negative one run which makes you go left okay and if i put that point in you can see they're all in a straight line so now I'm going to connect my dots. And it's a line that goes forever, even though our graph is small. So make sure you put arrows below it. All right, let's do another one. So again, we have y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we're going to locate our m. Our m, again, is in front of the x, so that's 4 over 3. And our b is a minus 1, so that's negative 1. Right. Which one do we plot first? B, because it comes in the alphabet first. So my, my y-intercept is negative 1. Okay. Now, my slope, again, is rise over run. So I'm going to rise 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and run 3. 1, 2, 3. Now you notice 4 and 3 are positive, so I went up in a positive direction and to the right in a positive direction. So we want to put our dot there. And we need another dot. However, if I go up 4 from there, 1, 2, I'm out of graph. Okay, So we can go back here. Now the, this is a positive slope, Okay, but if I want to go in the other direction, I can make both negative, okay, which we know two negatives make a positive. So from here, I can do the opposite, okay, and go down four because it's negative, 
and then a negative 3 is to the left, okay, which would put my point there. Okay, and if you notice, your line should always be, or your point should always be in a straight line. So I'm going to connect my dots, and there's my line. All right, next one's a word problem. I know it's a lot. Um, I didn't fill this out on your notes. Go ahead and fill the um, numbers out on your um, video. Okay. So a car rental company charges $150 to rent a car plus $30 per day. Write a linear equation and graph the equation. Okay. So we've talked about this before. We've talked about constants, okay, and then we've talked about numbers that are going to be attached to a variable. Okay. So the $150 is what they will pay no matter how many days they have the car. It's $150 flat fee. So remember that is our constant. Okay. Now the $30 per day okay, is what changes. Okay, If they have it one day it's $30 plus the $150. If they have it two days it's $60 plus the $150. Okay. Right. And then okay. and you can see our labels our days and money okay so that makes this money okay so and if you look this is the same as our slope intercept y equals mx plus b so my slope is going to be 30 okay? but remember we like it in a fraction so I'll put it over 30 over 1 and my y intercept is 150 What do we plot first? We plot the y-intercept first. Okay, so again, this is y and this is x. So I'm going to go to 150. All right, so there's my y-intercept. And my slope is 30. Now these go up 50 points. Each unit goes up 50. So it's, it's not going to be exact okay, because this is 25 and this is 25. So we just know it's a little above. All right, so this isn't going to be, again, exact, but... So we're going to go rise of 30, run of 1, rise of 30, run of 1, rise. All right, so that would be my line, okay? And you can read the graph from here. For example, if we look at 6 days, if we look at day 6, we can follow it up and figure out how much money we're going to pay. We're going to pay over $300 in six days. Okay. All right, that's it.